welcome back to Madness. It is Monday, Monday. And it is a Monday. So, let me tell you. Let's start Friday night. Friday night, I don't remember what I did. <laughs> oh, um, did I stitch? Maybe? I think I did. I don't remember. I think so. I think all I took off this week was Wednesday or Thursday. I probably stitched Friday. I don't know. My leg has been really hurting me. So, and yes, I finally called the doctor and I'm on antibiotics now. So, um, it's only been a day and I'm already feeling a lot better. Um, so that's good. She did say, though, if it doesn't get better in two days, that I have to go to the emergency room. That means I have to get um, IV antibiotics. Because she put me on a double dose of the antibiotic that I was on the first time. So, we'll see. And I know this is the strongest antibiotic before it goes to IV. So, But I'm not worried. Um, because it's doing so much better. Now, if it wasn't, then yeah, I'd be going to the hospital for sure. And yeah, I'd be bringing all my stitching stuff. Okay, so anyways, Saturday. I, what did I do Saturday? Oh, me and Becca went Pokemoning a little bit. And we did some running around. Um, it was mine and John's anniversary. So I had to go get steaks, which... Oh my gosh, he messed up the sticks so bad. He um didn't wait for the coals to get hot. So it was like he boiled our steaks. It was so ugh. But anyways, he learned his lesson. He has to wait for the grill to be very hot. He's very impatient. He doesn't like for things to warm up. Like I always tell him, you have to preheat the oven. Nope, he puts it in. He never sets timers. It drives me up a wall. And it's like, the oven wasn't even preheated, so don't even count that time yet. So, yeah. But, I mean, it still was a good dinner. Um, and then, hold on, I'm trying to think and look at the map, too. Um, I know I did... Well, that night I was just stitching like crazy and it was like one of those where I was only supposed to stitch like 500 stitches and then I look up and it's 635 and it's like oh <laughs> so I felt like I was wasting stitches but in some groups and then in others I was right on track you know because I was doing still for magical stitches I'm working on cabins and that's 2,000 stitches at a time so I'm not gonna go over that in one night maybe one of these days but yeah not right now I need to become a two-handed stitcher I bet you I can stitch so much more faster um and then Yesterday we had to go to the grocery store and get just a couple of things and I had to pick up my prescription and then I came home I took my prescription because they want me to take an uh, antihistamine the antibiotic and um, Motrin 800? 500? Whatever it is. It's that big pill. So I took all of that and the antihistamine, I'm telling you, that stuff knocks me out. So um, we made up my chair because you know how I like to sit on a seat because whenever I put my cell phone, it falls to the ground and that's a big mess. So I have a sheet or a blanket always covering my bottom half of the chair because I would lose everything and... <laughs> Yeah, it's just easier to do that. So me and Becca put, we since it's summer, we decided we put sheets on it because it's a lot better. And then I cover up with the sheet because there's something about the fan hitting the sheet that makes it just cool off. 
and when a fan hits a blanket, it doesn't do that effect. So we've been using a blanket, a sheet, and so then I had a real light blanket on top of that. So Becca made like this little bed for me on my, in my chair, took my meds, and I was out within, I'd say 15 minutes. And I took a long nap. I slept for four hours. I was like, holy crap. When I woke up and saw it was like almost five o'clock, I'm like, oh my gosh, I slept so long and I slept hard. I think it's because a lot of stress has been lifted. Well, you know, with the antibiotic, I can stop freaking out that my leg is getting infected and then it's going to turn into all the bad things. You have to chop it off. You know, your mind goes places. Because think about it. It's to next, no, this Thursday? No, this Saturday, right? I think it's this Saturday. It's going to be two months, right? July, August. Yeah, two months. I hate when stones are thrown at my windshield. Um, I hope it didn't make a ding. Anyways, it's been two months already, so I'm sick of every twice a day having Becca clean it and rebandage it. It's just, it's such a pain. So, I think knowing that I had the antibiotic, I get a little relief knowing that. And then, um, I don't think I told you guys my son's situation, but um, him and his wife are separated, and it kind of looks like they're getting a divorce. And... I've been freaking out for that about that for the last month and a half because my son is a very um, sensitive person. We always tease him, and he he teases himself too. He says that he's more of the girl of the relationship. So, and Becca always says she's. <laughs> she always says. Uh, she's more like a boy because Jonathan stole all of the estrogen when he was born. Because Jonathan just has, he's a very kind soul. Um, in school, he would always find the kids that were like getting picked on. And he would be like their buddy. And um, he's just, he has a very sensitive soul. soul. So he's a caregiver more than anything else and his heart gets broken very easily and yeah I think the, I had to wait those bicycles people go 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 um so I was very stressed out about him but I had a good talk with him Friday and he says he's okay um now she wasn't Jonathan's high school sweetheart but he was hers um they started dating when she was a sophomore I want to say and he had graduated high school the year before he was in college and she was a sophomore so but he said that as they grown up because they've been together, I want to say, for like six, seven years now. Um, they outgrew each other, which is going to happen. They were babies when they, you know, they were teenagers when they met. So, I think Jonathan just turned 18 because of how it works where his birthday is he didn't get to start school when he was supposed to so he was always the oldest of his class so I want to say he had just turned 18 when they started dating and she was only like what I want to say 14 
but they were perfect with each other and they respect each other and they still respect each other and he says she's still my best friend I just don't want to live with her and be married to her but he's not the one who's, who um, left she did because she had to go find herself and I'm, I'm happy that it's all working out where it doesn't seem like anyone's heartbroken except for what, see what I was so stressed out about is my son changed his Facebook picture and he looks very sad. And he's like, I was trying to go for that, you know, looking out in the distance, but all I see is sadness in his eyes. And he goes, yeah, I see that. And once I posted it, everyone was like, are you okay? Because it didn't help that two weeks before that, he posted a comment like, I, this is the most challenging thing that I ever went through in my life. And I'm like, oh my God, my baby boy's heart is broken. But, nope. is this where we are? Nope. Nope. Maybe this house? Let's see. Is it this house? Yes. Okay. Hold on a second. I'll come back out and finish. This one's going to be a long one. I'm already warning you right now. Well, today's thing is going to be. So, long. anyways. I think the relief of knowing that my son is going to be okay because he said it won't be right away but he does feel like he wants someone in his life that they there's nothing wrong no one hurt anyone it's just they grew apart they like different things she's more of a go out and do things Jonathan's more of a homebody he'd rather cook you a nice meal and watch a movie together she likes to get all dialed up and go out so there's nothing wrong with it they just outgrew each other um so I was very happy and stress was relieved knowing that everyone is gonna fall on their feet basically land on their feet land on their feet not fall on their feet land on their feet you don't mean my words not very good there's a lot more to it that I I'm not gonna go into but I'm just I'm happy for him so I'll go into it a little bit it doesn't help with your when your in-laws don't like you so her parents used to love him and then two days before the wedding changed their minds they had no reason to change their minds fickle people you know the wind blows and they blow with it so whatever but anyways new topic so I slept for four hours yesterday took a nap and then when I woke up I did still get in 600 stitches so close to 700 I really think I don't know I can't remember but once again though I was supposed to be helping someone guard the I forgot what we were guarding we were guarding something the door maybe the fence I don't remember well we were only supposed to do 400 stitches and once again, I looked up and I had close to 500 stitches. And I was only supposed to do like 300. I wasn't, no, I didn't know the exact number I was supposed to do, but I was thinking probably like 300. And I looked up and I did like, no, I think that's the time that I was doing, that I did 400 and some odd stitches. I'm like, sorry, I got lost in stitching. And that's what I did. I had the Gilmore Girls on and I was just stitching away. Becca went live on Twitch and I'm like, do you mind if I just don't go today? I'm really like into watching the Gilmore Girls and just stitching. And she's like, sure. Because I was stitching that boring sky. Oh my God. 820. That's all I was stitching basically last night was 820. And then I had a whole bunch of confetti stitches. But can't seem to put this project down now let's get to today first of all I really hate how um, Facebook Messenger 
works. If someone new messages you, you don't get a res you don't get a notice, you know, like a normal notice. Um, I just happened to see the icon. It said one, and I'm like, I'm on it right now. There are no new messages. But someone sent me a message yesterday asking me to join a new um, wagon because they knew I wasn't happy with my wagon. And it's not that I wasn't happy with them. We all had different time zones. So it's very hard stitching in that kind of a group when you're all on different time zones. So no one knew what we were supposed to stitch when. And it was just frustrating when I have time to stitch. I like to put my stitching towards something. And a member left and we were never getting a new member and it was like, I was just getting very frustrated. No communication was basically happening. So when I got the message today, saw that it was sent yesterday afternoon, I'm like, ah, yeah, how do I change wagons? I would love to change wagons. Which is really cool because it's two people from the Stitching Dead, the, the group that I'm in, so... We all work good together, so I am like super excited. Starting over from the beginning, but that's okay. I have no problem with that. And I'm gonna be the seamstress. I was the farmer. The farmer has a lot of responsibilities. I don't know much about the seamstress position. So I'm gonna have to read up on that, but that's okay. As long as I can put my stitching towards anything and we're not dying, I'm happy. <laughs> and it's so cool that I already know two of the people because I knew no one in my other group and they weren't talkers. So it didn't feel like you were a part of a team, which our Stitching Dead team, I, I love them. In fact, last week I went a little mushy on them. But you know, when you're already in a team that you're like pulling teeth to even know what you're supposed to be stitching, it's just so frustrating. And then you go to a team where we all work together great and let's say 95% of the time, we all know where we're, what we're doing and where we're going. You know, there's always that 5% out of a week where you're like, I don't know, are we still cooking or what are we doing here you know but our leader in the stitching group in the stitching dead group she's like on point whenever we have a question she answers within like the hour most of the time it's like within 10 minutes usually and in the other wagon it would be like days and it's like okay are we dead what are we doing because must have hit a bump and you guys were just staring at the sky again. Were you just daydreaming in the sky? Um, oh shoot, I gotta turn here already? Okay. Um, yeah, so that happened today, which that's all happening. And then um, Becca comes in to do my wound and she's like, Oh, um, by the way, I just found out that there's five times that I have to, in the semester, I have to be in class in person. Now, how messed up is this? This is so messed up. Becca's a full-time college student, right? Do you know what her schedule is? She only has classes on Monday. Because the other classes that she signed up for, they canceled, that's what it is, canceled the classes. So now she's only taking two classes this semester. And they only both happen on Mondays. Because usually if you have a class, you have it Monday and Wednesday for the same class. And then it's Tuesday and Thursday you have the same class. And you do have some of the classes that only meet once a week. Both of these classes only meet once a week. Um, lucky her, 
they the one starts at um I think it's five o'clock. Five fifteen, something like that. And the other one starts basically ten minutes after she gets out of her first class. Now the first class she actually has to go to the school. So what it was supposed to happen is John was supposed to drive her to the school. I think the classes are only like an hour and a half. Hour and 45 minutes, something like that. And then John was just going to sit in the parking lot playing on his phone or taking a nap. And then drive her back home. And she's like, my other class is right after that one. I'm like, well, how are you supposed to do that? And she's like, oh, I'll just Zoom. It's a Zoom class anyways. I'll just Zoom on the way home. I'm like, but there's one part on the expressway for a good 15 minutes where we get really bad reception. I go, so what's going to happen there? And she's like, oh, I already had to do it once um, the day that they moved the kids out. Um she had a class on the way driving back home with all of her crap that she had to do a Zoom. And she goes, some reason, Zoom on my phone works really good and I never lost connection or anything. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, if you feel like you can do this, I mean, this is what you're going to have to do. It's just very frustrating. With And I said, okay. She was supposed to graduate in... April of this year but because of COVID a bunch of her classes got canceled um she failed one class so it pushed it where she wasn't going to graduate until this year which I told her don't stress out it's not like high school you know it's not like oh my god you have to go another year in high school is a big deal. In college, well, things just happen. And when my mom died, that put a lot of stress on her. And she actually quit two classes because it just, it was too stressful, stressful for her. So I'm like, at the end of last year, which was in April, she knew that she was going to have to go both semesters this year to be able to graduate. I'm like, is this going to push you back another year because those classes canceled on you? And she's like, fortunately, no, because two of them were just electives and she was just taking it to fill up her. Okay, hold on. I got to pay attention. Okay, it's right here just to fill up so she would have a full class schedule. The other one, she already knows that she can take next year. She'll be first in line because this is the last year and you know it comes to them first. So hold on a second. Okay, so I was all freaked out because I really don't want her moving back to the dorm. Um, I don't know if you guys remember last year, but she was there for a month and a half and then one Friday night she called me crying and it's because she felt like she was in jail they were only allowed to get out of their rooms basically to go take a walk or go get something to eat they weren't allowed to socialize at all um, they had no classes in um, person I couldn't think of what that was called so she was always in her dorm room on her computer and she's like, I could, I could do this at home. The food there, she doesn't really eat the food. So we were bringing her up food and the whole thing was, is they kept saying that they were going to, um, change the classes to be in person. Um, after this date, we'll go back to in person. After this date, we'll go back into in person. Well, then they were like, nope, we're not doing it. So she like basically had a meltdown. She was scared to tell me because unfortunately we got none of the housing back and it costs about $5,000 to 
house her there for a semester and she was like gonna try to stick it out for that first that first semester so we wouldn't lose that money and I told her I don't care about the money I care about your sanity I'm coming to get you I was ready to come get her that night and she's like I'll be fine because we talked on the phone for like an hour she said I'll be fine I'll start packing now but can you be here first thing in the morning of course we were there first thing in the morning and we picked her up, picked her up and brought her home but um Um, so I'm scared that they're going to make them go back to school and we have to pay housing again, which is ridiculous. I just want her to be done with college and start her career because I'm over this. So as of right now, they're saying next semester is going to be some face to face some not um i have a feeling in a little bit they're gonna change this to no face to face because the um numbers are spiking again and it's just it's just very frustrating but i know she's not going back to school so when she started doing her schedule everything was online except for this one class friday on uh, monday nights for an hour and so me and John agreed that we're not sending her back to the dorm we will drive there sit out in the parking lot while she does the one class well then this morning she said oh I just found out that there's five times that I had to be in school for this class and I was like okay so asking hubby to do it for an hour two hours is fine asking him to do it for she said that she starts at five and gets out at nine something and I can't ask him to do that so I'm gonna go up there which is not the smartest thing because I really should have my leg propped up and not hanging down you know but it is what it is um, I'm going to take my stitching and hopefully I can stitch. I don't know. John says it's been getting dark about 8 o'clock. So there will be like an hour where I won't be able to stitch. I'm going to try to stitch by the lights. But I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work out. But one good thing is I did tell John. I said, well, you're going to have to come in and help me because I need some time to put my leg up well how today's working out I don't even think I'm going to be able to get my leg up I think I'm going to get home have to grab my stitching stuff and then basically hit the door to get her to school because unfortunately we have to go during rush hour traffic so we need to leave a half an hour earlier than we are used to just to see what's gonna happen you know because she can't be late I think if we leave a half an hour early that should be good and if it's not well then we learned her lesson you know I don't know what else to do so that's that's what's going on oh which means that well you guys will already know this more than likely we're gonna stitch we're gonna stitch we're gonna switch our stitchy time video to Tuesdays I was thinking about switching it to Sundays but Sundays when Becca goes live on Twitch and I like to start the new week on Monday Monday is when I sit down and do all my um, numbers you know see where I'm at how many I did for the week and all that so I have my calendar set up a new week is on Monday which I know Sunday is the new week but not on this calendar so I'm thinking Tuesday would just be better I mean I could we could film it Sunday night and put it up Monday but 
I'd rather just do it on Tuesdays. So, because you get two, a month, well now it's going to be stitching time on Tuesday and you get the vlogs on Friday. And if I can ever get off my butt and find some new recipes, which me and Becca were talking about that yesterday, we need to find some new recipes to make some what's in the pots. You'll get that on Wednesday, so. I know my channel isn't as active as it used to be because I don't do unboxings and I don't really diamond paint anymore. So, it's all about the cross stitch and cross stitch, you don't do many videos in the cross stitch world. But I am still keeping the vlogs and I will still keep the, oh shoot, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be over. Oh, I bet you that was in there. More than likely it was, right? We'll just turn around here. Oh, it's right there. Oh, crap. Okay, go, 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 go. And I'm going. Huh, I've never, this is a brand new building. I don't even know. It's State of Michigan. What is State of Michigan? Is that like social security and stuff like that? I don't know. We're gonna go to the customer entrance. That'll be the saved one. And then I'm gonna let you go here because um, I basically got you up to speed. Um, I'll try to come on tomorrow and tell you what happened at the school and how it went. But more than likely, if I don't talk to you tomorrow, I will talk to you Wednesday. So, I hope you guys have a great night. I don't know why I'm saying that because when you see this, it's going to be Friday and you already had your night. Hello and welcome back. It is Tuesday, Tuesday. I know, I never film on a Tuesday because I have tiny puffer fish with me. Hello. She says hi. Um, so, kind of excited. So, yesterday, oh yeah, I had to tell you, I had to tell you about yesterday. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it was bad. Um, I have no business keeping my leg down that long. Um, it didn't, it doesn't look good. <laughs> but we're hoping for the, the next couple of days, I'm going to work my butt off as fast as I can to get home to put the leg up. I did cross stitch in the car. Um mind you how many hours were we out there I was out there four hours yeah it's out there four hours about hour number two and a half which next time I haven't told you this but the next time you need to sneak me into a building so I can use the bathroom and then I'll be fine but it was all the traveling down there you know added because it takes well it takes about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes depending on traffic so you add the four hours plus the we'll call it two and a half hours back and forth you know yeah so that's six and a half hours and that's coming off right getting off work basically I had time to get off work get all my cross stitch stuff together and um, leave. So I had no time to put my leg up at all. And we learned a lesson too next time because usually when I come home um, I take the bandage off and for two hours I let it breathe. Air, you know, air. What is it called? Air out. Air out. I let it air out. Well, we didn't do that and Oh boy, here we go. This is a tight squeeze. Um, we didn't change the bandage either. Okay, got a little looking at the clouds again, guys. Get your head out of the clouds. Get the heads out of the cloud. So I think that didn't help too that we didn't change the bandage because we're not going to talk about it. It hurt. Let's just put it that way. But I did um, start my Gilmore Girls. I have to use my old tablet, which is smaller, which it's harder for me to see, but I'm able to use it and 
I got the dragonfly done yesterday. Oh, so basically what I did is I sat in the car, I sticked on my Gilmore Girls while watching the Gilmore Girls. So it all worked out. Tonight my plans is to do a Stitchy Time video. Then I want to... What was that? I don't know. My tires aren't flat, so... Because I have a thing that tells me if my tire was flat. I must have ran over something or something. I don't know. It was a weird noise, though. Um. Okay, so anyways. What was I saying, Beck? Oh, stitchy time. And then I plan on just watching Gilmore Girls and stitching on Gilmore Girls. Shit. I bet you I got a fucking flat tire. Crap. Um, yep, yep, damn it. Okay, what am I gonna do? It's gonna be flatter than flat. I'm going to this gas station right over here and I'm calling your father. Okay, we'll come back. <coughs> Don't joke. Okay, so, little update. Yes, we have a flat tire. Went and got fix a flat and it just spurts out the big hole. We couldn't find the hole. So we're like, well, let's try fix a flat. Mm -hmm. We found the big hole. There's no reason to buckle up. <laughs> we're not going nowhere. <laughs> I'm out of habit. Yeah. So, called Hubby about 20 times. He was outside because he was painting his train sets. And tell me why. Why... I tell him I have a flat tire and he just starts cussing and it's all about him. And I think I'm the one here stranded with the flat tire and I'm not, I'm not going crazy. But anyways, I don't even know what we were talking about when I got the flat tire. Um, I know I said that we were going to do a stitchy time then I just plan on stitching. Um, oh, we're super excited. See, we're standing still. Why are you guys shaking? I don't understand. Only because the car's running? Yeah. I don't think they see the shaking, though. You can kind of see it with the light pole just going up and down, up and down, up and no, down. No, but I'm saying when it's recording, I don't think it shows it in the recording. Um, so, on October 30th, 29th, when is Halloween? October 31st? Yeah. So, October 30th, we are going to take a road trip and go to Ohio, and we are going to see the 21 Pilots in concert. So, I did a bad thing today. I went on Hot Topic and I ordered a whole bunch of sweatshirts and t-shirts um, for me, Jonathan, and Becca. And I told, I called my son, I'm like, um, now, I hope you know this is an early Christmas present. <laughs> so when there's not much under the tree, <laughs> you already have it. He's like, yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> but, hey, everything was 30% off. How can you say no to 30% off. You can't. I can't. But you know at Christmas time it's buy one, buy two, get one free or something like that. But we want it for the concert. So, yeah. Um, what else? I think that's basically it. Today was going really good. We were going to be home by 3 o'clock. <laughs> look at us. Yeah. We're staring at a gym. We're sitting at a gym and it's 2.57 and we have two more deliveries. And we have to deal with a crabby bear coming to help. Which what probably will happen is he'll jack my car up, take my tire, go get it repaired, and then bring it back. That's going to be at least an hour. And I see... Why didn't I keep stitching in here? I took it out. I could be stitching. 
I don't know. Okay. So, <laughs> maybe next time I won't record on Tuesday. <laughs> it jinxed me. Mm -hmm. Um, I will check in tomorrow and let you know how everything turned out with the tire. And if I do get any stitching done tonight. So, see you tomorrow. Okay, quick little update. John came. He apologized for swearing like he did. Um, the reason he was upset is in the last like four times he was supposed to have um, a doctor's appointment to talk to his shrink because um, he doesn't go inside because of COVID. Uh, they do all their appointments on the phone. Well, <laughs> the last four times, every single time something has <laughs> came up. I'm not sure which way to go. Huh. Getting out of this, I think we're going to cut through Kroger's real fast. So just hold on, guys. Um, so anyways, John came, um, the cool thing is, is because we both have Kias, we both have the same, what is it, not tread pattern, mm, bolt pattern, I think it's called a bolt pattern, yeah, you think I know that his family owns a tire shop. I've heard tire lingo for the last 20 some odd years. Um, anyways. Oh, see, look, that was real easy. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go here. Okay. Once I get on the side shirt, I'll be able to talk and concentrate because I got people coming up my back end. Okay, so John brought his big old thing to jack up the car and he's got one of those manly ones um and he took the spare tire off of his car because my car didn't come with the spare tire the soles don't come with it but the minivans do so well I guess it's it's, it's a SUV slash minivan I think is what it's called whatever um, so he was able to take the tire off the spare and I'm riding on the spare now. So I didn't have to wait for him to get fixed. And when I bought my car, I bought the, um, warranty, warranty for the tires. So I get, um, my tires repaired for free so yay which I mean I paid for the warranty so it's not really free but you know so I'm quite happy so I told him I asked him I said well will you just take my car in tomorrow and I've been having problems with my one tire and I told him I said of course it couldn't be the other tire the one that I've been having problems with with the slow leak and he's like just take it to the dealership they'll give you new ones I'm like shoot I forgot about that so I'm like well why don't you take it to the dealership and do it I hate going to the dealership it really annoys me so but good news we're running again I just wanted to come on here and tell you the good news so yay yay and what's cool is our last two deliveries are right over here so we'll be done by 4 o'clock. We would have been done before 3. We would have been done before 3.30 if this all didn't happen. But it's okay. I mean, before, yeah, before 3.30. No. Yeah, we would have been done before, we would have been done before 2.30 is what I'm saying. My gosh, am I ever going to be able to go? No. No. The bird says no. Okay, I think... I think, let's just go for it. I think I can. I think I, I can. think I can. And if I can't, they'll slow down. So, okay guys, I'm gonna get off of here and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, and welcome back to the madness. Okay, so 
I'm sorry, it's Friday. <sighs> Things have been happening. So the last time I came on here, I want to say was Tuesday. Oh, uh, she got you. I'm sorry, my knitting fool at me. <laughs> You're knitting flew at you. All right. Let me shine off before I'm even ready. <laughs> okay, now that Becca's <laughs> buckled up. Oh, say hi, hi, tiny puffer fish. Hello. Um. Oh, we're gonna be sitting here for a bit. Great. Um. So what happened? Let's see. Well, I told you guys that I got the antibiotic, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> my body rejected it. <laughs> I have a rash all over my body. It is so bad, so itchy. So, what was it? Wednesday, I didn't go to work because um, what we really think that happened is I've been doing this one. Oh, my tire pressure is finally working. Yay. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I've had flat tires. You knew about the flat tire. Then Johnny. Okay. So let's start there. Let's start Tuesday night. Because that's when we got the flat tire, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Johnny had the spare, which was awesome, right? So the next morning, Johnny was supposed to go to, um, is that inside or outside? It's outside. It was a bug trying to get in. Okay. Um, yeah, scattered rain much. So the next day, Johnny was supposed to take my tire because I pay for the warranty on the tire and all that other tire business stuff. He, you know, the shocks and stuff like that. I, I bought the extended warranty for that. So, John was supposed to take my tire Wednesday and go um, give me a new one. Well, John likes to make appointments. So, the closest appointment, that the earliest appointment is September 20th. I'm sorry, but for a tire, you shouldn't have to make an appointment. But if he just showed up, they would just do it. All they do is just put a new tire on. But anyways, so, um, Tuesday night, my leg was killing me. And so we decided that I was going to stay home and keep my leg up the whole day. And then, and not put anything on it. Well, by the time Thursday came along the next day, I was in so much pain, but I still had to work. Um, thank God we didn't have a lot. And Becca came and she basically did everything for me, but, um, which I appreciate and she knows I appreciate her. Um, but I was in so much pain. I was in as much pain as the day it happened. And I thought I was losing my mind. And then the rash started. Oh, yeah. No, the rash started. You thought the rash started Monday. Wednesday. No, the rash started Wednesday. Um, dude. Watch where you're going, douche. Almost came right in my lane. Um. No, the, it started Wednesday, remember? Because I stayed home from work and I said to you, I said, I think I'm going to stop this. I think this is what's causing the rash. Okay. And you were like, yeah, I think you should stop it too. So the rash just kept getting worse. And so yesterday, finally, I was like, after work, we're going to the ER. Will you go with me? Oh my God. Did we just? No, here we go. Okay. Um, I thought we passed it. So, um, which I did get a lot of stitching done on Wednesday, didn't I? I think I did. I don't know. The week is all a blur, which I feel really bad. Oh, I know I got 500 stitches in on Wednesday because, um, I stitched for my profession. 
own. I stitched for my profession and I stitched um, 900 stitches too because I stitched all three nuggets which were 300 a piece. So that's what I did in between Tuesday and Wednesday. And then um, I went to the ER <coughs> and they told me I basically shouldn't have listened to my husband that a burn needs moisture, not drying out. So they had me get aqua four. Aqua four to put on it. <coughs> Let me tell you. Becca put that on last night and within what five minutes yeah. I was 75% better my leg was like didn't hurt but the sad thing is is that it was the size of a fist now it's almost wrapped around my leg again so I don't know but it's weird because <clears throat> I went to the hospital yesterday and they drew blood and the wound specialist was too busy to come see me, but wanted a picture sent to her. So they sent pictures to her, and they were like, put her on an antibiotic. Don't put her on an antibiotic. Put her on an antibiotic. And then at one point, the doctor goes, the like ER doctor, not the wound doctor, was like, did we draw blood on her? And the nurse is like, yeah, I was just getting ready to send it. He's like, oh, don't send it. And then they, they just discharged me. Um, but then, what was it? Two hours after I'm home? Yep. The ER calls me and says, oh, the doctor just called us and said he wants you on an antibiotic. So I'm sending the antibiotic in. So she sends the antibiotic in. Well, I didn't know that the pharmacy closed at 7 o'clock. I used to pharmacies closing at like 9. But because of COVID, everything has to close early. So now the pharmacy closes at 7. So, I couldn't get my antibiotic yesterday. But I'm scared to take the antibiotic because I'm, I'm turning into a freaking marshmallow everywhere. A burnt marshmallow. <laughs> A pink marshmallow. A pink marshmallow. Not a burnt marshmallow. A pink marshmallow. Well, burnt in one area. <laughs> burnt in one area. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's one place that I don't have the rash. <laughs> My hands are swollen and bumpy and my arms are all swollen and bumpy and... I, no matter what, I'm cross-stitching tonight because I need to stab fabric desperately <laughs> before I stab someone else. Better not be me. I would never stab you, my darling. Okay, so we're stabbing daddy. Got it. Fabric. We're stabbing fabric. <laughs> it sounds like you choose violence today. <laughs> As Miss Coffee would say. So... Yeah, that's what's basically been going on. So, they tell me to take Benadryl. I feel like I've been eating Benadryl and it's not even touching it. So, I don't know. I don't, I like, I'm throwing my hands up and saying, just chop off everything. <laughs> Except for my hands, I need a cross stitch. I need to stamp fabric. <laughs> Uh, so that's what's been going on with me. Um, my plans this weekend is just to work on projects. I don't know which project. Whatever project speaks to me this... Oh, excuse me. Oh, that was another thing. Couldn't sleep last night. Every hour I was waking up scratching all over the place. Five four three five oh nine. So yeah, that's basically it. I know this was kind of a short one, but I think Mondays or Tuesdays was quite long. 
So I hope you guys are having a better week than I am. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. Sorry this one's such a mess. But right now I'm a mess. So that's what you're getting. Um, hope you enjoyed the madness. And I will see you next week, guys. Bye. Oh, look at doggie.